Hey fellow guitar players, this is Mike from Guitar Essentials. And in this lesson, we're gonna learn A, B, C, D, E, F, U by Gale. Here it goes. Okay, so let's get started. This song is very easy in that it's only four chords and that progression lasts for the whole entire song. But there's different ways in which you can play this song. We're gonna start off first with power chords. So the first power chord we're gonna do is an E5 power chord. We're at the seventh fret of the fifth string with the first finger, and then the ninth fret of the fourth string with the third finger, and you can also add a third note, the octave, ninth fret on the third string with the pinky right underneath. If it's easier, you could just do the two note power chord and hit just two strings, like that. But for now, we'll just show you the three note power chords. Now the next chord is a G sharp five power chord. So we're at the fourth fret on the sixth string, sixth fret on the fifth string, and sixth fret on the fourth string. Then we just bring that down a string. Some may say up because it's up in pitch. So four, six, six on the fifth, fourth, and third string. So that's a C sharp five power chord. Then we can go to our A five power chord, which is open fifth string, second fret on both the fourth and third string like this. Okay, so it's. Now what we can also do is instead of the E5 up here, we can do the E5 here, which is open sixth string and then second fret on the fifth and fourth string. All right, so that would be. All right, so that's the first step, getting those chords down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a little rhythm into it. Some may think of this as eighth notes. I'm going to be thinking of it as sixteenth notes. So one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. One e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a, one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. And I'm putting accents on the numbered beat. That's the first way I would learn it. So one, two three, four, all get a little bit extra oomph to your strum. Now remember, you could also do it here. I'm also putting a light palm mute on the strings where the palm of my hand goes right where the strings meet the bridge and just lightly rest there. So when I do my accents, I kind of lift the palm up and then a light palm mute. You can do it however you kind of want for the feel that you want to get for the song. Another rhythm you could also try is where you could think of it this way, where you go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So another way you can play this song is by using your major and minor chords. First, we'll start with an E major chord, followed by a G sharp minor chord, barring at the fourth fret, six strings, then a bar off the fifth string, fourth fret as well, C sharp minor chord, followed by an A chord.
Hope you enjoyed this lesson. There'll be plenty more lessons to come. Please like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next lesson.